stone has caused a weapon that can can level out half of a fucking country. Yeah, yeah. And it says, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also, and the works that are the therein shall therein. be burned up. That's right. right. Uh -huh. That's when I say the mountains shall be uh, covered in blood, man. Because you're gonna have literally mountains fucking melting down like fucking chocolate bars, man. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Con. Hey, man. Matter of fact, this is the precept here. Uh, this is the book of uh, Genesis four. And I'm going to start at verses uh, 15. It says here, now, Yahweh said it to him, Therefore, whosoever slid Cain, vengeance should be taken on him sevenfold. And the Lord set a mark upon Cain, lest any find him shall kill him, okay? That mark, okay, being that leprosy, okay? But it says anybody that pursued his devil, vengeance will come upon him. But the point I wanted to make, and it says, And Cain went out from the presence of the Lord and dwelt in the land of Nod, the east of Eden, okay? Now, I wish I could turn this map around, man, because um, it ain't, well, if you go down to Basra, Edom, but if you look at the garden, basically the garden was placed in the land of Israel, man, in that province, all right? But also when it goes here, it says, uh, and Cain knew his wife, and she conceived and bare Enoch, okay? This is a different Enoch. It says that he built a city and called the city after the name of his son, Enoch. And Enoch was born Irod, and Irod begot uh, Mahujel and Mujel begot Methusiel um, and Methusiel begot Lamech and Lamech took it to him two wives and the name of one was Adah and the name of the other one was Zalah and Adah bare Jabal and he was the father of such as has dwelt in tents of such as have cattle and his brother's name was Jubal and his, uh, Jabal and his father uh, Slak and his brother's name was Jubal and was the father of all such handled the harp and organ and Zillah she also bare, bare two ball cane, an instructor of every artificer or artificer in brass and iron. Okay, now if you look up artificer, that goes to a person that makes weapons, man. Okay, and we get that word. Uh, let me find it. And it goes into a metal craftsman. Okay, when you think of a weapon or a gun, what is the particular uh, element that guns are made out of? Uh, iron, iron, iron steel, metal, yeah. and gunpowder, right? Okay, so that shows you that that particular line, which came through the line, which which is really the Edomites before they were Edomites. Hey, man, that showed you that that, that was in their spirit to make these weapons, man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right, and even gunpowder in itself, that's another form of a metal. There's just a different type of flammable material that's broken down. Mm -hmm. Right, right. You know, so they they perfected that that tech, man. Yeah. You know? That's why it says in Daniel that. Uh, Wisdom shall increase. Oh, so I mean, they already, they already had a a, a, a keen for weapons, a keen for being destructive. Then they just took it to another level. Now they got airplanes, helicopters. You right. know what I'm saying now the scientists get in, get in deep down in, in terms of the elements. You know, as we brought out the, the nuclear missiles, the uranium. You know, mm -hmm. yeah. but this is all for this man's destruction. Yep, that's why it says, and she also bear a two ball cane. An instructor of every artificer in brass and iron. He was an instructor, man. And right. what's in what's so significant about that? Because he was named out this great fucking grandfather. Right, right. Yeah. That may have been him right there in the reincarnation right. because that was several generations. His first murder. Right. Yeah. yeah. And he didn't created it. weapons to murder people. Right. right. What did Cain <laughs> use to kill his brother? A stone, a rock from the ground. Yep. Right. So from That's the how beginning. Start. That's how it started. That's how it started. And it's from a rock to a nuclear missile, man. Right. Well, his very name means means weapon. Means weapon. Yeah. Right. You know. Means weapon. And that's, that's no yeah. shock that the guys in the World War II, the German soldiers, I don't know if I can say the word on YouTube, but the guys that were under the German leader yeah. in World yeah. War II, what were they what were they specialists at, man, creating technology? They created the first jet propulsion. Yep. NASA was created out of them. Yep. But they figured out jet propulsion. They figured out all different types of sciences, man. And what did they use the science for is for weapons, man. Yep. It's not, they don't even Everything they, every, every innovation they made that's been leaps and bounds has always been a weapon. Yep. Like when they took down GAD or the Japanese, Gatling, it was yeah, Gatling yeah, guns yeah. and guns, gunpowder. They figured that out first. Carbines. Then yeah. they figured out airplanes. Then they figured out nukes. Shit, go down to Panama, uh, the Panama Deception, man. What they were using, lasers, man. Yeah. Lasers, uh, yeah. Yeah, like they was finding people literally glued and they put like melted in the fucking vehicles, man. Right, now this nigga got a space yeah. force, man. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> yeah. This yeah. nigga wild, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the book of John 10 and 10. The thief cometh not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. Right. Who is the thief, man? Just your devil, your boy. The red boy, man. 
right? That's why every single thing this man has ever invented, when he wants to try to take some type of ownership and pride in, it's always to kill something. Everything in this country that this man has credit for to actually invent it himself, and Jake not doing it, it has to do with death. You know, he, he comes with, with the diseases. It's death. From the clothes you wear, it, it's, it's done something to kill you, the polyester shit, yeah. bad for your skin. Uh, everything this man created is nothing but death, man. Uh, uh, it yeah. says, I am come that they might have a life and that they might have it more abundantly. That's right. Uh, and who is the they? The Israelites, man. Because right. we don't have abundant life in here. Just off the fact that brothers are going through ailments, man. Vertigo, allergies and shit. I've been dealing with allergies for years, man. And now it's finally starting to surface. Why? It's spraying heat in the air, man. It's 70 degrees. Monday is supposed to fucking spring. I mean, it's supposed to snow. Yeah. Tuesday going to be 50, Damn. 60. Friday's back. And you notice the double he make on the weekend is cold. Then Sunday is going to go back up. Maybe 60 the next week, 70. Fridays a blizzard, Sunday a ice, Saturday a ice storm, Sunday 80 degrees, Monday 90. Okay, when the weekend comes, I'm gonna fuck it up because it's a literal attack on the prophets, man. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's we're wild. supposed to have no cold right now. We, I believe, but are we in the month of it? Yeah. So we're supposed to have straight warm weather right now. At least transitioning right. to it. Yeah. Right. It yeah. should be like this and, and continue to be like this, man. Right. right. Because we're entering that storm season. Okay, right. which this is a comfortable weather, but it's so unnatural, man. Okay, it's unnatural. You can smell the chemicals in the air. Mm -hmm. And we're breathing that shit in. Yeah, this is what happens when you let the, uh, the the base man rule over the earth, man. If you get that in Daniel, I... Okay. Just, I mean, this, this damn devil's wicked, man. He's Because of him, he got global warming and shit. Hey, because why? Because he's digging in the ground and, and putting doo-doo and putting doo -doo in cars. That's what oil is. It's, it's, it's riding, riding, uh, Shit. riding right. animals and dinosaurs that compress into a liquid form. It's dead matter. It's disgusting. And now you wonder why you at the mechanic every four yeah. months. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because really, to be honest with you, a car engine oil corrodes it. It breaks it down. Yeah. Right. Oil is very corrosive. Right? Especially when you make an engine block out of fucking metal and steel. Those things get fucking corrode, man. Right. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Daniel chapter 4 verse 17 it says this this matter is by the decree of the watchers and the demand by the word of the holy ones to the intent that the living may know that the most high ruleth in the kingdom of men and giveth it to whomsoever he will and set it up over it the basis of men right and that's these people these are the basis of people right here man even from them, them women that walk past, those are the bases of people. Yeah. All right? Because, I mean, for one thing, these bitches sleep with fucking dogs, man. And then you got these fucking black <laughs> women that try to be like the so-called white man, man. Yeah. And they look at us like we the freak show. They be sucking off horses. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. Like, we the fucking freak show. And these people, they the fucking problem on earth. That's right. Yeah, that's right. That's right. All well, they do is incest, too. Yeah, yeah. Nah. white so-called white people. Because one of the bitch, one of the broke child daughters, she married Dread Electronica, yeah. man. <laughs> yeah. She married a real J Double O. She right, married right. a nigga, man. Right. Could they understand? And, and, and that was an ugly Edomite bitch, man. Yeah, kind. <laughs> Straight up. You piping her down, just. Yeah. And you know she paying J Electronica, man. Oh, Get the bag yeah. off her ass, man. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah, bro. <laughs> 
but that shows they understand patrilineal descent. They understand nations are brought back through men and not yeah. women. Because why else would they let their 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 daughter marry a, a who they view as a nigger? You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 All right, yeah, they they, them in time yeah, they cut. They probably cut the bitch off. Hey, let her have a baby by Jake Electronica, J Electronica, man. I ain't dealing with that fucking daughter no more, man. Yeah, calm. Are you bringing them fucking guppies? <laughs> yeah, calm. Yeah, calm. Yeah, they show you. That. They showed you that with the. Uh, with the queen in them, you know, Meghan Markle in them. They, yeah, yeah, yeah. they wasn't fucking with her. They got her ass out the damn uh, right. out the palace and shit. She over here in Canada. Yeah. <laughs> hey, but you know what? Her line does go back to the royal lineage. We go all the way back. But what you realize is that there was a royal lineage called the Jacobites way back in the 1600s, and the, the Queen Elizabeth line they took over around the 1600s, 1700s. Yeah, because Queen Elizabeth, when they, they married her into the black nobility of England, man. Right, right. Queen Elizabeth was never no damn queen, man. Right. Like fucking peasant. So technically her line does go back to the royalty of England, but they don't fuck with her, you can see. Her. You know? She got that Jake blood in her, man. Yeah, right. man, but hey, that's that's what these devils do. They they were doing that in, in the time of Herod, man. Herod wasn't wasn't born a Jake, you know, but, but, but he married it into that position. And you know, knew the right people, and he got put on as as the king of the Jews, even though he was a terror man. Right. Yep. Uh, Herod. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, because Herod's mother looked like a Jake man. Right. You know what I'm saying? And he was he, shit. I mean, shit. He knew the Hebrew. He fucked with Jake to a certain degree. He was just a terror. He was just a nigga, a white boy that was a nigga man. You know, he was a nigga. No, he was a nigga white boy. Right. right. He was an Edomite. Chocolate Edomite. Yeah. He didn't have the spirit of Jake. <laughs> right. But he looked like Jake. Right. Cause you've always had light skin jakes oh, yeah. that will they will look the same but if yeah. your father's of another nation you're not gonna have the spirit of an israelite nah. Nah, you know? like uh what's this guy's name uh 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 taj mari or some tn tamara yeah, 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 yeah. them, them fucking yeah, terrors man yeah, yeah yeah they tell their fathers the malachites man right and then look at diana ross man her son yep tracy ellis ross yep. she a Edomite. Yep. yep she's on but I, I pulled something real quick to show you about the violence of this guy. It says, uh, bestiality remains legal in four states. And 19 other states have statutes that date to the 19th century. Bestiality, but yet, man, they trip on <laughs> men, man, this shit. This but you, can, you can only have one wife, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Only one piece of box. That's illegal. But you can't have a, a cow. Right. But, but this, this, this is what... I brought this precept out where it said, Woe to them that strive with his maker, man. Because this man wants to do everything, you no, know, like, like, knowingly doing everything opposite of what Yahweh Bashim Yahshua set up, man. You know what I'm saying? Knowing that a man is designed for more than one woman, you can't, you know, even though legal marriage is off, you can't legally marry more than one, one woman. You know what I'm saying? Knowing that being a sugar boy is completely out of order, you, you let that be okay and let them, uh, Raise kids, man. That's one of the most irritating things that I see in my job is it, it, two nigga women raising kids, man. But right. you know what? Two mommies. But you know what, too? Monogamy, that's really for population control, too. Kind, yeah. Kind, they put kind. that in place because they didn't want Jake putting his seed. Because the scriptures say be fruitful, multiply. Kind. So when Esau came up with monogamy and he poisoned these women enough, they, 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 they adopted because the woman is the biggest push of monogamy. Esau don't believe it. Esau bought it out. He said that men that don't so-called cheat on their wives, they die faster, man. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. Because right. monogamy is not profitable to a man's spirit. It's just not. Right. You know what I'm saying? And then they fuck the woman's head up so much to the point you do get you another woman. Like, you don't love me no more. No, it has nothing to do with that. You got to understand that men are programmed a certain way. It's like they want you to go against your natural nature. And I'll show you how fucking inconclusive women are mentally because you can break that shit down to them but yet, they're so indoctrinated by Esau's way of life to the point they ain't trying to hear your nature, man. Right. But it's like if you get a fucking cat and you abuse it because it don't bark like a dog, it's a cat, it meow. But the cat right. is trying to tell you, look, I don't bark. This is not what I'm created to do. Right. I have a meow, I'm a feline, man. Right. How you gonna get mad at the fucking animal? Right. right. <laughs> yeah. Go buy a fucking dog then. Hey, peep, I got a uh, article right, from CNN. Why did we come mon monogamous? It says, Modern culture tells us that each one has their one, a perfect partner to share with the rest of their lives with. Yes. Although polygamy or polygamy is practiced in various cultures, humans 
still tend toward monogamy. But this is not always the norm among our ancestors. Mm. Other yeah. primates, the mammalian group to which humans belong, are still polygamous too. Right. Right. It's, uh, it's just in nature, man. Yeah. You can't you can't stop it. Cause see, a woman, her biggest problem with is she's worried about what sexual acts you're doing with another woman. Yes. If you're giving the, that type of pleasure to that, because why they're jealous and they want to be too controlling. Okay. It's not it's not supposed to be any part in your business. See, when we bring out these things talking about polygamy, we're not talking about having sex with three women at one time in the same bed. Right. That's off. Yeah. Because what you're doing is you're bringing in that that, 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 that negative uh, undesirable spirit. Of, of putting a woman on woman type shit. Right. You can't do that, man. Right. What it always was in the ancient world is a man has his wife. That's his private, his his business, his his marriage with that woman, and he had another marriage with one woman. There was no defrauding between the other women. There's yep. laws on that. You can't defraud your woman. Yep. Right. So that's right. what women don't want to understand or get or comprehend because they got that heavy jealous spirit that this is mine. No, man. Right. We don't fucking belong to you. We don't oh, fucking belong God. to you. The yeah. scripture said, "Man that have a white habit of possession." Yeah, yeah, okay, right. that fucking uh, uh, polyamorous bullshit you bitches teach. And for one thing, you women don't have a right to judge no man. There's many dicks and shit y'all didn't have to you. <laughs> right. You can't judge a man. Right. Sneaky links. Yeah, man. <laughs> Vision that playing with hot dogs and shit. <laughs> It says the modern monogamous culture has only been around for just a thousand years. Right, so that's the new age shit right there, man. Okay, and that was practiced during the time of the Roman Empire. Monogamy. Yeah, yeah I was just going to say, you know why it became popular around that time? You have something called romanticism. Romance, romance. Which comes from the Romans, romance. man. Which yeah. is the idea of twin flames. I only got eyes for you. Yeah. You're the, that jo the, Rome the Romeo and Juliet. That All of that became popular under the, under the Roman philosophies man yep. right. it's and not natural at all to, to humanity yeah and that's why Rome failed because hey look at this society man it follows the same cusses of Rome mm -hmm. this is Romulus all over again Romulus and Remus you that's know right. this is the same goddamn thing which proves that kingdoms are reincarnated too man yep. but the woman is so goddamn bugged out she can't understand that it, it's she can't get over herself and it's because they're narcissistic man they're narcissists but yet, when they go out and do shit, you can't judge them for it. Oh no, you wrong. Right, they're not bring it up. And, and really, you, you're oppressing yourself when you're not with the whole Isaiah 4 and 1 polygamous spirit. Because if you had more than one woman in the house, you wouldn't be as nearly fucking stressed, right. man. We had them gray hair. Could, help. Could, could, what do y'all complain about at the home? When you stay home mothers? Oh, there's so many that. kids. Yep. I gotta cook so much. I can't yep. keep up with this. I gotta clean. This is a lot. That's a job 24. You wouldn't be a job 24-7 if you have the fucking help that you're supposed to have in the house. Right. Go go. Hey, let the man have another wife in there. And split the fucking work in half. And actually, no, you can. Hey, one have a vacation for a week. One wife take over, the next wife take over. Or split the work in half. Mm -hmm. Or you want to go on vacation with your man, go to fucking Orlando somewhere, one wife at a time. Hey, we going all week. Next month is your turn, I'm taking you. We got somebody to watch the kids at the whole house and we can spend this whole week. Y'all right. don't think about shit you like ain't, that. You ain't gotta pay him for child care. You fucking super woman, man. Okay. I, but I disagree with one thing you said. Uh, it's one thing, man. Don't stop me. When you said that they should let you have another man. Oh, right, yeah, yeah, you right, can't. Right, you don't God, control God, what the right. fuck we do. Man. That's right, that's a man can have another woman if he wants to. If you can't right. get with it, then get the fuck out. That's what it's gonna right. be too. Yeah, get the fuck out. Because yeah. I'm gonna say it like this, man. If men, we shouldn't have to lie about shit we do. Right. We shouldn't have to fucking hide what we do. Okay, yeah. you should tell your woman. Look, I'm with my other woman today, man. I'll see you in a yeah. couple of days. Right, right, right. Okay, that's how it's supposed to be. Like, it ain't supposed to be. Oh, what you doing? Nah, bitch, you don't question me. I'm right. your god. You don't question me. Mm -hmm. And when you get that to the, I don't, and that's why, hey, I say a full one come, a lot of your women that you with ain't gonna be there, man. Right. Sorry, bro. I'm gonna tell you straight forward, man, hey, majority of our women are not gonna make it. Yeah, they, they, they're, they're not gonna make it because when Isaiah 4 and 1 come and that buck up spirit and, and it's a harem of women, I wish a woman would buck up in me in that day, man. You, you get thrown the fuck out of here. Right. Right. Okay, or well, I'm gonna charge the other bitches to whoop your fucking ass, man. Yeah. And then I'm gonna put them fucking women over you because you decide not to get in order. Then you're right. supposed to be the down, the down bitch from day one, but you can't seem to get in order. Yeah. Yeah. I need yeah. you to set this shit in order because you know what I like. They don't. So tell them what I like, how I like it. And, hey, and let's get it. That's right. right. Yeah, yeah, man. man. Yeah. Hey, all these bitches want to be the head bitch in charge. You can't be the head bitch in charge. Don't go 
other women. That, that, that's in the script. That's not enough. Because you gonna have a, you know, like like the boss said, you ain't gonna hide no special woman in the kingdom. You not. Right. But like I mean, on this side, you got a woman that's been rocking with you. Of course, you are gonna give her a charge over the other women that don't know you. Right. 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 I ain't gonna put some some bitch I just met or a slacky some woman off the street Isaiah four and one. That I just met that came up to me. I ain't gonna put her over my wife I've been dealing with. Right, right. right. I don't know her fucking intentions. Right. That's when you come and play at. That's better to do that than go through a talking stage. Yeah. I just have another chick show you the game. Yeah, yeah. sure. And hey, if something's off with her, let me know. I'm a judge and she's out of here. Right. Yeah. You can't right. leave it up. You can't leave it up to the damn woman. Yeah. Why would you wear that if you gotta hold it down? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, let like, all the DC in order. Yeah. You right. see that in the account of uh, Rachel and Leah, man. Yeah. Rachel was actually the younger. Uh, sorry, Rachel was actually the younger sister. But what happened? Rachel, Leah had to end up coming back and asking Rachel, "Can I sleep with Jacob?" Yeah. <laughs> Why? Because Jacob me. loved her. Like he her put most. her over her, man. Yeah, yeah. There right. was there was an order even amongst the women. Yeah. Uh, you even, know. Even Sarah, man, we should be able to put in the spirit to be, hey, look, just like Sarah, hey, go give me a woman. Bring me, bring, pick them out for me. Man, she better be on point. Uh, see, so you do that with these women, she's gonna bring you back a fucking butt duck. She may bring you back a fucking train, man. Right. <laughs> yeah. 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 But in the kingdom, hey, that's the spirit gonna be in. And that whole thought of you coming to get, hey, that shit is gonna be erased out your mind, man. Yeah, man, you ain't, ain't gonna, gonna be there. Yeah, ain't no, man, who is this? It, man, nah, oh, man, what's your man, please? Right. This, this is the problem because you women, but you know what? You're gonna get in line with Isaiah 4 1 when you see how bad it's gonna get. Right. You see how bad it's going to get, man. It's going to be forced because you ain't going to be able to call the cops. You can't buck up to your man because, hey, he can smack the shit out of you. There's no saving for you. You ain't finna fight. You been, we ain't finna win that fight. If a man got to beat your ass half to death in that day, who you going to have? We going to call. Society's collapsed. You going to have no choice but to give it the program. Like the bro said, hey, he might have a gang of women. This gang's not going to fight. that day. But, bro, hey, think about it. The pride is going to be so diminished. These women are gonna be broken. Their pride is gonna be so broken in that day to the point they're gonna be in fucking in, in misery, man. They're gonna be in, in agony. Right. Let's think about it, right? Women are so jealous, right? And I can visualize in my mindset. You got a woman and you got seven other women around you, right? And it's all hell breaking loose. This bitch give you hell. You kick her ass, man, because she's still gonna have that feminism mindset and her mindset until she find out the truth. Yeah, right. You kick her ass out and then all of a sudden she go outside, nigga wanna gang rape her. People shooting all over the place. She's gonna have no choice but to run back to you, man. Yeah. Right. And then she's gonna be so broken and contrite to the point she's gonna have to get down with the program, man. They're gonna be desperate, man. Yeah. That's why I say, she that, that is in my, she that is my enemy shall see it, and shame shall cover her. Which said, where is the Lord thy power, man? So she gonna she gonna regret all the all the little bullshit ways she was acting, man. Right, right. right. But I got a quick one. Yeah. This is uh first Timothy two, uh Verse 14. And Adam was not deceived, but the woman being deceived was in the transgressions. Notwithstanding, she shall be saved in childbearing if they continue in faith and charity and holiness with sobriety. It says, if they continue with that. And those are heavy stipulations you have to abide by. Because the majority of you ain't fulfilling none of that. Time. Time. Right. Time. You're not sober, okay, in the sobriety. You're not in charity. You're yeah, none of that. Not char yeah, definitely huh. not charity. Right. Nah, because when a woman do something for you, bro, it's always a catch to it. It's always an attachment to it. Right. She's always having it in her back pocket. Okay, well, I took the nigga to the hospital this day, so therefore, when we get into it, I can throw that at him. Right, right, right. Oh, uh, if I take him to the hospital and go buy him some food, that means that he can't feel this way about myself. It's always a fucking joke, with God. A fucking joke. With you. Why can't you just do something because it's the right thing to do? Yep. yep. With any attachments, man. Right. That's what the scripture say. Don't expect nothing in return. Man. Like when we when we helped bro last week, we ain't we ain't expect nothing out of that. We doing it out of the out of love of our heart. Women, oh, oh I do this, so you gotta do woo de woo de woo, man. Right. It, it ain't no exchange, man. Yeah, you gotta pump me three times as hard because I gave you a box of weed. Yeah. I love your back. I when mean, you were feeling I was there. You supposed to be there. Right, right. You supposed to be a support system. Yeah. Whether I had something or not. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I got a uh, blue letter on that word. Childbearing, man, because it it, it it really goes more in depth, because it's not just just the fact of having kids. Um it's more so. It actually goes into the performance of marital duties, man. So it goes into it here, I'm trying to find this. Uh, While you're getting it, I'm going to bring this out. This is Genesis uh, 
44 and 19, it says, And Lamech took unto him two wives. And the name of the one was Adah, and the other name was Zalah. Okay? It says he took two wives unto him, man. Have you, however many wives you can handle, you can take care of. And on top of that, we have more than one wife. Y'all take care of each other, so to speak. They yeah. do it so they can pick up the slack. Right. Okay? Because we're in a situation right now that we're not really able to take care of multiple women. But nonetheless, it's still lawful. You can still deal with other women, man. Okay? It's just not wise because of the bullshit you deal with. But I mean, at the end of the day, man, it, the most high is going to set everything back in order, man. Right. Yep. Because right. monogamy, it don't work. It, right. it just do not work, man. You don't ever hear about divorces over there in Saudi Arabia or Ishmael, some kind of lifestyle. Hell you no. don't hear about that. Right. But you come to America, it's 70% divorce rate. Why? Because it does not work. Right. Monogamy does not work because you pump these women up on a pedestal and made them believe they was something they was not. Right. They right. are servants, man. Yeah. Right. As you said, they start to see you as a possession, man. Right. That's that's where you go wrong. Kind of. It's not just the monogamy, but it's also the women are the one choosing yeah, the one man that they get to marry. Yeah. And that's off because we know that uh, arranged marriage divorce rate is under 5%, man. Yeah, yeah. They don't have those problems when you let a man, your father, your brother, whoever is the, the head male in your life choose because women don't have any type of, of wisdom or discernment right. when they come when it comes to choosing a, a right. man for long term. That's yes. the spirit. I was, uh, when I was at the clinic getting checked out yesterday. For my uh for my uh, for my fucking sinuses and shit. And uh the ladies was talking, man. I guess he was must have been an Iskarite. She got four kids, man. And I was like, damn, and I'm like, why you ain't married? She said, I keep choosing the wrong men. I said, makes sense. So they, do it, yeah. Yeah. they do it off looks, right. man. Yeah, you do it off looks and clout. Oh, yeah. this nigga drive a Hellcat. Nigga yeah. can't spell Hellcat, but yet you chose him based on how he looked. Yeah, how oh, because spelled. the nigga looked like PJ Souls or some shit. Right. right. Hey, but in arranged marriages, you doing it tactically, you know? You doing right. it with the intention, okay, we, we know this person's family. We know what type of business they into. Right, you right. Know, we can collab on that. Or, like, I, like we said, these women go off what kind of cologne he got on. How, right, how right. fresh How fresh is his J's? Right? Yeah, what kind of car is he in? Yeah. Next thing you know, you dealing with a drug dealer nigga that's beating your ass. You know what I'm saying? You got yeah. busted lips every two months. Yep. Hey, that's on you dumbass bitches. Right. That's why the story of Jacob is so powerful, man, because it basically shows you all of that, man. Like, he, he labored for with uh, Laban for, for 20 years, man. Yeah. So when he married his daughters, he already knew what he, what he was getting into. He knew his work ethic. He knew how he handled tough situations. Yeah. You know, he knew how he was going to treat his, his daughters, his women. Yeah, I believe you know? Laban was his uncle. Laban was his uncle, yeah. Rebecca's uh, brother. Yeah. Uh, you know? I got that uh, definition strong. Uh, for the brother bring out in that precept uh, that she be she shall be saved in childbearing. It's the word childbearing comes from the Greek. Uh, that comes from the word technogonia. Okay. When you go for, go further than that, it says um, paternity and the performance of maternal duties. All right. So taking care of the children is one. But going on further, all right. It also comes from the word uh, technogonio, which is a compound from. Um, Technon, all right, which basically, which basically means when you go further, it says uh, Timoria, a rendering help assistance. So that is your your, your childbearing right there, all right. And there's another word that used to say uh, performance of marital duties, but I guess the app ended up changing it or something like that. But basically, being performing duties as a wife. Okay? Yeah, right. So don't just think that you can just spread your legs and, and put a baby on a dude that you're going to be saved if he's a man of the Lord. No. Right, right. No, that's not how you're going to get saved. No. You don't get saved just by having a child. That's what's wrong with you women. Right. You women think just because you have the ability to push out a baby and get pregnant that you a woman. No. Right. The word know. woman means servant, man. That's that right. was a thing on TikTok, man. They was uh, doing a scoffing on the World War Three. How the women talking about they gonna get pregnant and shit, so they gonna get drunk. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right. They joking, but that's that's the spirit that they in, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, no? I got a precept here, and that's how I was trying to find it. This is Sirach seven, and I'm gonna start at twenty three. It says, "Has thou children? Instruct them and bow down their neck from their youth. Has thou daughters?" Have care of their body and show not thyself cheerful towards them. Meaning your daughter ain't supposed to be your fucking friend, man. Are we gonna get our nails and feet done together? Hell no, man. That's bullshit. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. It says, "Marry thy daughter, and so shalt thou have performed a weightier matter 
but give her to a man of understanding. Right. Mean right. that, hey, she's supposed to be tracing Travis Scott, man. That's right, man. Yeah. Right. You know what I'm saying? These women chasing celebrity niggas, Tigger. What's the newest nigga out right now? Yeah. 21 Savage. 21 Savage. Yeah. Them type niggas, man. Lil Uzi Vert. Little Uzi niggas. Kid Boo, Lil Pump. Those are guys in the mindset of these women, man. Yeah. Those aren't men of understanding. No. Right. No. All these dumbass names, too. Little dumb this, little that, little that. And, and but Everybody you know want to be Lil. And that's what these kids want to be, man. But you know what the worst part is? is women do have the understanding, to the fundamental understanding, because we know when they get in their 30s, what do they do? Want to find a husband. They already, they go find the right man, which means they knew the whole time, they just didn't want to do it. They, 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 yeah. Their decision making is just... Which should make you not respect shitty. them even more. Right. Right. Wait till you're 30. All of a sudden, now I'm ready to have a. Now I gotta be. Now I gotta be the one that. The, 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 I gotta be the good boy to you. Right. I gotta be the man that treats you right. Right. And you've been ran through by a thousand other dicks. You, you got. You got 50 dicks. 50 demons on you. Like, from 50 no, different men. Serious, you know. Chase that all the way up to they about in their mid twenties. Then they want an athlete. It switches up. Then they want what they see on TV. They don't want a celebrity. By the time they thirty, now they want a businessman, millionaire. Got high mileage. That box got high <laughs> mileage. Yeah, be at home, lonely as hell. But these bitches at home yep. waiting on J.R. Yep. Smith, man. Yep. Yeah. That's the nigga uh, that played for uh, what's his basketball team, man? The nigga he was getting off. He got the dreads and shit. He played for. What's this nigga's name? Red. Red. Yeah, yeah, bro. The nigga been getting off all season. They waiting on niggas like that. Yeah, this bitch single as fuck. But yet waiting on a, a celebrity basketball nigga. Like, I can't date you unless you play basketball. Like, what the fuck? Right. That's so goddamn shallow. Right. You yeah. don't have a right to choose. That's right. Yeah, like the average woman will tell you she wants a man at least six feet. You'll tell her, look, only 5% of men are over six feet. Yeah. And they'll still be like, nah, he's out there. I'm like, well, wait a minute, but y'all y'all only want one man. If all of you bitches want niggas over six feet, y'all gonna have to share. Right. <laughs> but you, you tell that to a woman, she's like, hell no, I ain't sharing. Because women are just completely fucking devoid of wisdom, man. <laughs> That's why arranged marriages was a righteous thing, because your father was like, nah, damn that. You know, this is what you need. We're furthering a household. Your job and, and duty as a woman is to do this, this, X, Y, Z. You know, and that uh, y'all saw that movie, The Color Purple. Kinda, yeah, kind of. Yeah, remember uh, at the beginning uh, when he married his daughter off to uh, Mister, because he wanted Nettie. It was kind of like the Jacob and the okay, yeah, yeah. kind of man, because they were sisters. And uh, he was like, "Nah, you can't have Nettie. She's too young." But I tell you what, you can have Celia. He said, "You can cook it clean and do everything you need," because he wanted her to be married off, man. Right, right. Yeah, and honestly, right, man. man, he wasn't really like, everybody see. Picture him as a piece of shit, but he wasn't really a piece of shit in the movie. Right. He was really doing what he was supposed to do. Right. He just uh. didn't want no ugly ass woman, but I mean that's his right. You don't want an ugly ass bitch. Right. <laughs> and then one that's day right, she bucked up against him, he turned and he smacked the shit out of her, man. Right. right. And uh. everybody was mad at this guy. Uh. But no, he was in the right spirit. Hey, uh. it's, a, <coughs> it's a quick article, man. 